Hi, my name is Benjamin Parson, and I'm here to present our work on an A-star algorithm for the unordered tree edit distance with custom costs. Our motivation is similarity search on unordered trees. For example, this tree represents a chemical molecule isopentane. If we switch the order of subtrees, it remains the same molecule. However, if we change a bond and adjust the hydrogen counts accordingly, it becomes a different molecule. So, is there a metric which is invariant against reordering, but variant under relabeling? The unordered tree edit distance is such a metric. It is defined as the cost of changing one tree into another, where swaps have zero cost. In this example here, we can swap the order of subtrees, relabel CH with C, and we label CH3 with CH2, and we have transformed our isopentane molecule into the molecule on the right. Unfortunately, the unordered tree edit distance is max SNP hard, so the best we can do is to search the exponential space of tree edits as efficient as possible. That is where the A star algorithm comes into play. The basic idea is to build an edit script iteratively and always compute a lower bound H for the remaining cost. We start with a trivial edit that transforms the root of the first tree to the root of the second tree. Our lower bound for the remaining cost is 1, because ideally we can just delete the B on the left and leave all other nodes as they are. We store our lower bound in a priority queue. Next, we pull the top entry from the priority queue and consider all possible edits we could apply to B. First, we could delete B. Our lower bound for the remaining edit distance is zero, because we could just swap C, D and E around, such that they match with E, D and C on the right. We put that option back onto our priority queue. Next, we could relabel B with E. Then our lower bound is four, because we would have to delete C and D on the left, relabel E with D, and delete C on the right. So this option has a higher lower bound and would be placed behind our previous option in the priority queue. Our remaining two options are to relabel B with D and B with C. Both have a lower bound of three. This concludes one iteration of our A star algorithm. In the next iteration, we would again pull the current best lower bound from the priority queue and continue all possible edits for C. In the worst case, this A star algorithm explores all possible edit scripts between both trees, which is exponential. In this example, however, we have one option, deleting B, which is clearly better than all the other options. So we can first search in this direction and would find a complete edit script with cost of 1, which is clearly better than the lower bound for all remaining options. So we can terminate the computation early, in quadratic time instead of exponential time. Importantly, the tighter our lower bounds are, the earlier we can abandon search directions that are unhelpful. So how can we find tight lower bounds? The main contribution of this paper are three novel lower bounds for the unordered tree edit distance. Our key idea is to treat the remaining trees on both sides as unordered sets of nodes, like in this figure on the right. Then we can find an optimal edit script in cubic time based on the assignment algorithm of Munkris. For this example, we would have to delete an A, relabel B with E, and relabel C with B, yielding a lower bound of 3. The actual unordered tree edit distance may be higher, because the tree structure forbids this editing, but it can never be lower because all valid tree edit scripts are also valid set edit scripts. Unfortunately, cubic time is quite expensive for a lower bound. A more efficient alternative is to compute the best matching partner for each node independently and delete nodes with the least matching partners. This is possible in quadratic time. In this example, we would leave both A's as they are, relabel B with E and delete C, yielding a lower bound of two. If even quadratic time is too expensive, we can assume that all nodes find a perfectly matching partner with zero cost and that we only need to delete nodes to equalize a node number on both sides. Finding the cheapest nodes to delete is possible in linear time. In our example, this yields a lower bound of 1. In general, we obtain that our lower bounds are in a strict hierarchy. More computational complexity buys us a tighter lower bound and vice versa. Importantly, all our lower bounds are compatible with custom edit costs, so we can inject domain knowledge by specifying that some nodes are more similar to each other than others. So how fast are our proposed lower bounds in practice? 
We computed the unordered tree at a distance on two chemical molecule datasets, alkanes and zinc. The alkanes dataset contains smaller molecules, the zinc dataset bigger molecules. As a baseline, we considered the lower bound of Yoshino, Higuchi and Hirata from 2013. We find that, for alkanes, the linear time bound is fastest, followed by Yoshino's bound. For zinc, the cubic bound is fastest, followed by Yoshino's bound. This is explained by the number of options that are explored by the A-star algorithm. For alkanes, the search space is quite small, and the linear time bound only explores about 50% more options compared to the cubic time bound, such that the linear time bound is worth it. For zinc, however, the search space becomes much larger, and the linear time bound needs to explore about six times as many options compared to the cubic time bound, such that the cubic time bound becomes better. So far, we have only considered unit costs for all edits, meaning all edits cost the same. Now let's investigate custom costs, namely the difference in hydrogen count for alkanes and the difference in electron count for zinc. These custom costs mean that options which previously costed the same now have different costs. This means less options to explore. For zinc, we save about 75% of the search space, which is reflected in much shorter runtimes. This plot shows the runtime trend for the zinc data set in log log space. Again, we see that the linear and quadratic bounds are faster for smaller trees, but have worse slopes, such that they become slower for larger trees. The slopes for the cubic bound and Yoshino's bound are about the same, but the cubic bound has a better constant factor, especially with custom costs. Finally, we investigated the utility of our metric to predict chemical properties, namely the boiling point for alkanes and the chemical stability for zinc. We applied a 5 nearest neighbor regressor, and our baselines were the constrained unordered tree edit distance, as well as the ordered tree edit distance, which are both polynomial. Our measure is the root mean square error in 15-fold cross-validation. We observe that all methods perform almost the same for alkanes. Custom costs improve performance slightly. For zinc, we see a clear advantage of custom costs and a slight advantage for the unordered tree edit distance compared to the constrained and ordered version. In summary, we proposed three novel lower bounds to compute the unordered tree edit distance via an A-star algorithm. All of these lower bounds are compatible with custom edit costs. This is important because custom edit costs can improve the runtime beyond the state of the art. For regression, we found that custom edit costs help as well. However, polynomial tree edit distances were competitive, so they should always be considered as surrogates for the unordered tree edit distance in practice. Thank you very much for your attention, and if you are interested in the source code for this approach or the experiments, please consider this GitLab link.